Today I want to show you how I shut the door like Neville Goddard and manifested financial freedom. And I want to start this episode with a quote from Neville Goddard about the power of shutting the door. And then I want to share seven specific practical tips with you that you can use in order to shut the door and manifest financial freedom for yourself. So here's what Neville Goddard says. When you pray, go within secret and shut the door. So shutting the door is shutting out that which I am now aware of being and claiming myself to be that which I desire to be. I want to repeat this quote again. When you pray, go within secret and shut the door. So shutting the door is shutting out that which I am now aware of being and claiming myself to be that which I desire to be. So what does it mean to shut the door? The door is the awareness of being. So what in this very specific moment are you aware of being? Are you aware of being wealthy? Are you aware of being rich? Are you aware that there's so much wealth and so much money out there for you to claim, for you to attract? Or are you aware of poverty? Are you aware of scarcity? Are you aware of lack? It all depends on your level of awareness. Remember, where you put your awareness is where you put your focus. And where focus goes, energy flows. So the first step in manifesting financial freedom is to become aware of something completely different than you're aware of right now. It's about changing your awareness away from lack towards abundance. And this is something that I also had to do, or let's better say I'm grateful that I did it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have to do it, but let's say I had to do it in order to achieve the financial success that I'm now enjoying. And of course, this didn't happen overnight. I didn't just change my awareness like, ooh, now I'm rich and wealthy. However, what I did was to step by step identify limiting beliefs, identify certain patterns and certain habits that I had in my life. And I then replaced them with beliefs and habits that were serving me. And I also put myself out there. And by putting yourself out there, I mean that you are socializing with people who are way, and I really mean way beyond the wealth that you currently have. And this is perfect. It's absolutely perfect if you want to change your awareness from a poverty awareness to an awareness that includes riches and wealth. One of the best decisions I ever made was to network with very successful people, especially at a time when I wasn't successful yet. And I did that by simply joining networking events. I joined networking events about finances, about investing. And back then, keep in mind, I had nothing to invest. Zero. I had no idea about investing. I had no idea about anything, to be honest. However, by networking with these people, or let's better say by just being in their presence, by just soaking up their energy and learning from the way they think and the way they behave and the way they feel, that's how I changed my awareness. And in a metaphorical sense, I shut the door behind me. And behind me was my old life. Behind me was my poverty mindset. Behind me were my ideas about money that were not serving me, especially on this journey towards manifesting money. And I then opened a new door. And in this door, or let's better say, while I walked through that door into that new room, I then socialized and networked with people who had the matching energy of this new room. And this played a huge part in my success when it comes to manifesting money. And another way how you can think about shutting the door is to shut the door to the virtual 3D reality that you no longer want to experience. Because always remember, your imagination is your only true reality. Everything that you're experiencing right now in your physical reality is just the result of past vibrations, past beliefs, past frequencies. It is not real. It is just a reality that you created for yourself with your imagination and with the frequency that you were vibrating at. And by changing that frequency and by changing your pictures and your imagination and by finally step by step starting to believe in that future by rehearsing it over and over again, and you can do that, for example, during meditation, you then shut the door to the virtual reality 
and you open your eyes, your mental eyes, and your, yeah, you can say the eyes in your heart, you open your heart to this new reality in your imagination. And that's also why one of the modules of the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program is all about visualization, visual meditation, and how to combine it then. And oh, sorry, I wanted to say visualization and meditation, <laughs> and how you then combine it together <laughs> into a visual meditation. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And by the way, if you want to find out more about my 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days. And shut your eyes to the fear, the doubt, and the anxiety that you have in regards to your manifestation, or let's better say in regards to not manifesting what you want. And when it comes to shutting your eyes to your fears and to your doubts, Two of the best things you can do, and one of them is also the hardest thing to do for people. I know that from countless Skype coaching sessions. But let's start with the easier one. The easier one is to avoid the consumption of anything that puts you in this fear mindset and this doubt mindset and anxiety mindset. And yeah, that just messes up your vibration. So the best thing you can do is to no longer watch the news. If you think that you can reach a high vibration on a consistent level while watching the news. I mean, it might be possible, but I've never met anyone who was able to pull that off. The news are designed for you to constantly be in terror, in fear, in anxiety. Oh my God, what will happen? Oh my God, what if this happens? I mean, you never turn on the news and they say, hey, today this billionaire donated so many millions to this charity and then they helped so many people it's amazing no on the news you always hear oh this explosion and this crisis you always hear the bad stuff and i don't want to dive too deep into that right now but there is an agenda and the more fear people have the easier it is to control them so shut the news off and close your eyes, or better say, just like Neville Goddard says it, shut the door when it comes to the news. And also shut the door, and this is the hardest thing to do for so many people. And again, I know that from countless Skype coaching sessions. And by the way, if you want to find out more about me as a coach, and me as a hypnotist, and also about the different coaching sessions I offer, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash coaching. And one of the best things you can do when it comes to shutting the door so that you can manifest financial freedom or whatever you want to manifest is to shut the door behind you and to let the people who don't believe in you, the people who pull you down, the people who are bad for you and for your personal journey and your spiritual journey and to leave them behind. And I know from so many coaching clients that this is often the hardest thing to do. And I would never put myself in a position to say, oh, you should no longer see your friends or, oh, you should no longer have contact to your parents or, oh, you should kick your husband or wife out. I'm not saying that at all. The only thing that I'm saying is that when you're surrounded by people who pull you down, who have a very low vibration, at some point you will crack. At some point, you will adapt and adjust to that vibration. I mean, I consider myself a very strong person when it comes to reaching frequencies and maintaining frequencies. But if you would put me in a room with five people who are all extremely negative, and these five people are my roommates for the next three months, I will have a very hard time to maintain a high vibration. Always keep that in mind. And also shut your door to your prejudices and your toxic assumptions about the ones who have large sums of money and the ones who you actually want to emulate. And this is something that also stops a lot of people from manifesting money. And that's that they have these toxic beliefs, these prejudices, assumptions about people who have money. Oh, rich people are evil. Oh, money is the root of all evil. Oh. If you believe that and you look at somebody who has a lot of wealth with this negative attitude, then no wonder you can't manifest any money. Remember, as Neville Goddard said it, so shutting the door is shutting out that which I am now aware of being and claiming myself to be that which I desire to be. And yes, let's be honest, if you're looking at a rich person, your subconscious mind says, I want to be like him or her. And at the same time, we often then justify our current misery by saying, oh, yeah, they might have money, but I'm sure they don't have any love in their life. I mean, that's something that I heard from so many people. These beliefs are absolutely insane. I heard from so many people this belief that, yeah, I mean, he might have money, but is he truly happy? I'm like, 
what does it have to do with that? I mean, just assuming that somebody who has money has no love or no happiness in their life is complete bonkers. It doesn't make any sense. But that's how we human beings operate. So call yourself out on your own BS and shut your prejudices and your toxic assumptions about the ones who you actually want to be like. And then you can manifest the wealth that you want. Because nowadays, when I meet somebody with a lot of money, I don't look at them and say, oh God, oh, this person has more money than me. No, I look at them and say, hey, how have you done it? What do you believe about life? What do you believe about money? I want to learn from you. And if you go out into the world with this mindset, with this open heart and open mind, then money will flow to you. And in the process, you will also make a lot of really cool friends. And shut your eyes at night and don't go to sleep before you have enjoyed the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Just don't do it. Just put yourself every night into the feeling of the wish fulfilled. How would it feel like to have what you want? Just put yourself into that emotional state whenever you're about to go to sleep. This alone can already make a huge difference. And shut your mouth when your old pattern wants to force you to utter words that are not in alignment with your new self so yes sometimes you have to say to yourself oh just shut up right now just shut up right now and i still have these moments every now and then i mean when i'm for example a little bit stressed sometimes just sometimes the old self creeps in again and says like wait 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 look at them wait 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 why are you not having this wait 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 why is it taking so long and in this moment, I often, yeah, I often change my inner voice to this kind of minion voice to make fun of it, because that's an easy way to break the pattern. But whenever you are on this journey and the old self is creeping up and saying, oh God, look at this person, oh, they have a Lamborghini, oh, I want to strangle them as an extreme example. You then in this moment shut your mouth when your old pattern wants to force you to utter words that are not in alignment with your new self. And you immediately affirm your new self, for example, by going into the feeling of the wish fulfilled, like I have X amount of money, it feels so good, oh my God, it feels so incredible. And if you do that over and over again, then you will become the rich and wealthy person that you want to be, and you will create the rich and wealthy future that you've always wanted to experience. And that's how I shut the door, like Neville Goddard, and manifested financial freedom, and you can do the same. And I want to briefly mention again, if you want to find out more about the 11 Days to Manifestation Mastery program, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash 11 days. And if you want to find out more about coaching with me, you can go to affirmationtomanifestation.com slash coaching. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.